Star 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Just tracking clouds on radar at the moment. All of the precip is off to the west for the most part, which is good news for us. And those clouds will actually act as our thermal blanket tonight. Temperatures old and steady, mid to upper 60s, even some 70s out there when you head to Stevensville, Easton, or even Westminster, Frederick. So uh, definitely a little bit warmer than the last few weeks have been out there. Still some good time to get out and walk the dog or head to the park. Some dry time, but isolated showers will start to trickle into the area as we head into the overnight hours. I think our rain will be very minimal for tonight. But as we turn the page to tomorrow, we're going to be watching this upper level system start to get closer to our area, and that's going to bring some showers. I think tomorrow will kind of be a lost cause. I think we're going to see lots of rain, and I think there's going to be very little dry time in between. For that reason, I am putting out a high-impact weather alert because we are going to see a little bit more rain than we typically see in a 24 hour period. We're looking at one to two inches of rain possible. Some areas could actually get a little bit more than two where some of this training sets up. We're really going to be focused on the hours between 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, Concern for areas in uh, low lying, uh, typical areas that flood whenever we see a lot of water out there. I saw someone cleaning some storm drains today. If you're in one of those areas that are low lying, that would be my tip to you. Clean those storm drains so that water can flow. Looking at mainly cloudy skies through the evening, but we'll be watching that wall of water start to push into the area at around 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And notice how there's green that's going to be lingering through most of the day. The heaviest rain will shift toward the eastern shore once we get to 12 o'clock, and that's where we're looking to see some of the heavier totals, especially uh, areas near Elkton. So we'll be watching that very closely. Showers lingering through the early part of the evening, and we'll finally start to see some clearing on the back side of that, but still some isolated showers possible through portions of your Friday. That's going to head into the afternoon. That low pressure system swirling around going to keep a little bit of instability around for your Friday. Here's a look at those estimated totals. You see most areas picking up one to two inches, but right now we're getting some estimates upwards of three inches in Elkton. So that's why we're putting out that alert, making sure that you are weather aware for your Thursday. Chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms in the forecast through the day. Temperatures hanging out in the 60s. Not much better on Friday. Actually a little bit cooler behind that front, but still keeping some isolated rain chances in the forecast through your Friday. Saturday looks pretty solid. A little breezy, but better numbers. Dry through Sunday, at least the earlier part of the afternoon and evening. We'll see some rain chances start to trickle out, but Sunday's definitely the weekend winter. Throw some meat on the grill and enjoy a little bit of sunshine. Take a look at the seven-day forecast. It shows that we are damp for the next couple of days, but drying out as we head into the weekend. Another chance of showers on the forecast Sunday night into Monday. We'll be right back.